Let's take a look at some charts on the basic attention token from this week's article on Brave New Coin. So BAT is an ERC-20 token designed to be transferred between publishers, advertisers, and users in an attempt to disrupt the current ad model, which has a stranglehold under Google, Facebook, Amazon. Disrupt that digital advertising model. If you look at how it works as a user using the Brave browser, which is getting more and more popular. They just reported 20 million users. Using the browser, you can budget certain amounts of BAT for the month and then set those distributions among websites or YouTube accounts or Reddit accounts or whoever you as a user want to send money to. And bingo, bango, that off it goes. If we look at who is a publisher on Brave, most of them are on YouTube, which is understandable. BAT kind of Emerged at a good time with the adpocalypse on YouTube. Bunch of stuff going on with Twitch as well. I think Twitch is, the numbers are going to spike and continue to spike over the next few months and years. It's, I think it's easiest to just distribute bat through YouTube. Just cause that makes more sense. It's just a replacement for AdSense or ads on YouTube. Uh, any video content though, I think is the strongest case for Brave, but so is uh, paywalls on popular media sites as well. So it's mostly YouTube and Twitter. And if we look at all of the graphs, they're all just up and to the right. Users just exploding pretty much across the board. Some of these could be double counted or triple counted if one person, you know, has an account on all these channels. For instance, I have a Twitch Twitch channel, I have a Reddit, I have a Twitter, I have a YouTube. So even though I'm one person, I'm counted on each graph here. Nevertheless, they're still all soaring. If you look at the token itself, I think the token has taken a large hit because of ETH transaction fees as far as the on-chain activity. Now, the interesting part about BAT is the reason they didn't start it on Bitcoin or just use Bitcoin is because they said it was too expensive. And here we are with Ethereum. And all of a sudden it's looking mighty expensive to send microtransactions on Ethereum. So although transactions accounts for right transaction counts were rising throughout 2019, throughout 2020, you can see the distribution of uh, subsidies or sends to publishers here. But even though even though those were rising substantially, and there's a little bit of speculative activity in here as well, going to July, all that has declined enormously, substantially, catastrophically. You know, it's down 75% or something crazy. It's down to two-year lows, basically. And I think all of that is ETH price-related, either... The users are sending less, people like myself, who get sent bat on uphold. I can't remove it from uphold without the transaction fee costing me the entirety of what I'm sent. So as a user, you have to either wait for transaction fees to come down or just ignore that it even exists because it's basically trapped where it sits if it's not on an exchange where you can sell it. So there's definitely an issue with uh, microtransactions right now in that department. NVT, inverse metric of economic utility, continues to decline and remains at multi-year lows. I think the bigger story is, though, again, like the transaction counts, active addresses are way down, and that just hurts to see on any network, any token, anything. Um, you don't want active addresses declining over 50% in a few months. It just says there's very little people sending it actively. Again, I think this is just ETH transaction or ETH, yeah, ETH transaction fees are just way too high right now for BAT to even make sense as a model because microtransactions cannot be sent. They just can't. If you look at Google Trends for basic attention token, the exact phrase, down to multi-month lows, not really a big deal. It did spike, it does spike occasionally. Definitely nothing close to the ICO. Uh, one thing I'd, I've never looked at but I thought was interesting that I finally looked at was Brave the browser. Uh, Google Trends are continually, continuing to push all-time highs and sitting at all-time high levels. So the browser is getting more and more attention. That'll bring more and more people to the token eventually, but it's a start. If we look at some technicals for the token. This is the three-day chart, which I actually turned on accidentally, didn't even realize it. But it makes a lot of sense for alts that have been ranging for the enti their entire life or for alts that have been down multiple years, it just makes the trend very clear and obvious, or makes the range very clear and obvious. Looking at this on the daily, 
you'd think, wow, there's there's all these micro trends going on. It's obviously tradable up and down, but at the end of the day, for the most part, it's between 18 and 25 cents on any given time since 2018. So right now it's in a bit of a bearish stint. Again, it's down 50% from the highs, just demolished over the past couple of months, past 70 days, below the yearly pivot, below the VPVR note at 25 cents, below the VPVR support at 18 cents, 5200 EMAs are crossing bearish. There's no yearly pivot to save this on the downside. Really, the only things left are these previous local lows at like 15 cents, and then this March low at like 8, 9, 10 cents, whatever this is, equal low here in 2019. So if these lows fail to hold, I mean, it's it's new all-time low territory for the USD pair, certainly. There's no bullish divergence here yet to suggest waning bearish momentum. So, you know, there's not even a volume spike. This is all just weak volume, slow bleed, doesn't look bullish in any way I can try to find it below all supports. If we look at the cloud on the daily, you can see how bearish it is again. TK lines are actually pretty close together, so there isn't even a possibility of like a TK C clamp forming here. You can see it's starting, but it's pretty small. When the TK lines get flat, that's when you start to think, okay, this trend might be slowing down. But you can see it had this, this pattern here, it broke down, and that's probably just going to continue uh, in the near future. There's really no, there's really nothing bullish about this at all, other than you can say to yourself, well, it's down 50%, so I, I might as well start buying here. But I caution that perspective because it doesn't look like it wants to bounce here anytime soon. And then if we look at the BAT BTC pair on the daily using the cloud and the 200, it is just absolute devastation below the previous accumulation zone, below all this VPVR uh, support, resistance, level node, whatever you want to consider it. This this year, eight, ten months of consolidation was all for naught because it just broke down anyway. Again, it's on little little volume, weak volume, all time low on RSI here, below twenty. It looks like the next leg down will be a bullish divergence. It's gonna be hard to get an equal or greater momentum on the next leg down, I'm assuming. Uh, it would be really good to see a volume spike with RSI painting a bullish divergence. At that point, for me, it says there's a decent knife catch or long stab here because at that point, bears are likely beginning to get exhausted or just go away, you know, or capitulation is over. However you want to think of that, that's what you're watching for on the bat BTC pair, but it'll likely break the 1K sats all-time low. That's another good indicator. If it breaks all-time low with a bullish divergence, I mean, that's a decent decent shot at uh, that it, the lows are in at that point. Not to say bullish divergences cannot continue to grow for multiple months, but at that point the, the buy gets stronger. So overall a bit of a divergence between Brave popularity, the browser, and that token price, in my opinion, because of the ETH transaction fees, which are just killing BAT as a model right now. So if they can somehow figure out how to scale on ETH 2.0 or some variant of it, some side chain, off chain, whatever, then the model becomes more attractive. But the reality is it's just too expensive to send BAT right now for the token to make any sense.